Mr. Kane, uh, in the past you've been rather critical of any of us who would want to audit the Fed. You said uh, you've used pretty strong terms uh, that uh, uh, we were ignorant and that uh, we didn't know what we were doing. And therefore, there was no need for a Fed audit anyway, because if you had one, you're not going to find out everything because everybody knows everything about the Fed. First of all, you have misquoted me. I did not call you or any of your people ignorant. I don't know where that came I'll from. I'll get it for you. All right. Now, so you got to be careful of the stuff that you get off the Internet because that's just not something that I have said. The Federal Reserve already has so many internal audits. Audits is ridiculous. I don't know where, why people think we're going to learn this great amount of information by auditing the Federal Reserve. There's no hidden secrets going on in the Federal Reserve to my knowledge. And I tell people, you know, we've got 12 Federal Reserve banks. You find out which district you're in, call them up and go from there. Some people, I believe, think that there's some sort of smoking gun or some sort of secrecy that the public does not know that goes on behind those closed doors. And the reason that is not one of my big issues is I don't think they're going to find anything. As far as auditing the Fed, in the vernacular of my grandfather, I does not care. Representative Paul sits on a committee that already has that authority. But now that we have found and we've gotten an audit, we have found out an awful lot on how special businesses get, you know, bailed out. Wall Street, the banks and special companies, foreign governments. And, and you said that you advise those of us who are concerned and you belittled, you say, call up the Federal Reserve and just ask them. They were dealing in $15 trillion. Five trillion went overseas to bail out foreign banks. But you know what? Congress did a lot. I've worked on it for a good many years. But you, you can't solve, you can't cure the disease if you don't know the cause of it. And the cause is the booms. When there are booms and they're artificial, whether it's the CRA or whether it's the Fed Easy Credit, when you have bubbles, whether it's the NASDAQ or whether it's the housing bubbles, they burst. And when they do, you have to have corrections and that's what we're dealing with. And we can do this by building coalitions and not sacrificing any principles. Juliana. Surely this is basic information that should be available to every American taxpayer. But the Fed fought tooth and nail all the way to the Supreme Court to preserve their privileged secrecy. In one week, at the height of the crisis, about 70% of the money doled out went to foreign banks. But now we learn that a good deal of the money did not even help American banks. Quite a bit of money went to the Arab banking corporations in which the Libyan Central Bank owned about a third of its stock. I don't know why people think we're going to learn this great amount of information by auditing the Federal Reserve. There's no hidden secrets going on in the Federal Reserve to my knowledge. 